All right, what we got? that Cody is starting and, and acknowledge that you guys really kind of need to see if he can be your quarterback of the future. So what have you seen in Cody so far that leads you to believe that maybe he can be that and what else do you need to see? I try to stay in the moment, you know, more so than the uh, decision makers, should I say. Um, he's, he's had a good week of practice. Uh, we'll be ready to uh, try and, and – you know, just match the intensity um, of, of a really good Dallas defense. Um, they're, they're a really good football team. Um, their defensive unit is led by uh, <clears throat> uh, Sean Lee. Great, got it right. Uh, number 50, and, uh, and they play hard. Sean, but can you assess that, I mean, what good things that you've seen from Cody? So oh, from Cody, yeah. I mean, Cody. Uh, Cody, he has a natural um, instinct and awareness in the pocket that uh, that gives him a chance to to, uh, to to just make the how can I put it you know without saying you know he's a, a good game manager but just to, to stay on schedule and make the plays uh, within the play call okay and. Um, and that's something that's rare for young quarterbacks, you know, just his poise, uh, his toughness, all right, his overall field vision, and then once again, those instincts that he have in the pocket. What um, impact do you think Corey Coleman can have on the offense as a whole in his return? Wow, he's a guy that can score the ball, and uh, you can throw him a short pass, and he can run a long way with it, you know, a long way with the ball. And... Um, and and he is a playmaker, you know, and that's the one thing that um, that that this offense, Coach Jackson's offense, relies on, you know, just guys uh, making plays, uh, in particular the big plays, and uh, and that's what we need more of. You said that uh, you know it'll take uh, Corey a little time to knock off the rust, or do you think he might be able to just kind of slide right in there? Well, he's fast. You know, he's fast, and he was fast when he played against uh, Baltimore, and I feel like he's even faster now. Uh, and uh, over the past, however long it was that he wasn't able to go out and play with his teammates, uh, he's been working hard with Coach, uh, Coach Al to, uh, to stay, you know, on top of the playbook. And, and he's prepared himself from week to week as if he was playing. So that can only help him, you know, uh, to be able to make that transition back to the playing field. Camp or how is he faster? Well, I don't know. I don't know. We hadn't had him run a 40 yard dash. He just, you know, to the naked eye, he appears to be all right, just as fast and even more explosive than he was the last time that we watched him play in practice. Are you upset you were preparing for the Patriots um, last month? What did you see in, in Jamie Collins uh, when you were getting ready for him? Well, you know, and I even made this point to our offensive unit uh, during that week of preparation that uh, he was one of the most underrated defensive players in the National Football League. Um, when I, uh, over the past three years, previous three years, you know, I was on a team that faced uh, that Patriots defense, you know, several times a year. And uh, I mean, he's a guy that can can uh, can change a game as a defensive player, and those guys are rare. He can play on all three levels of the defense. He can rush the passer, all right. He can uh, cover your backs out in the backfield, and uh, of course, he can fit in there and stop the run. Uh, if you detach a tight end, uh, even some receivers, he can cover those guys out in space. And uh, and with all that being said, he has bad intentions, all right, when he gets to the ball carrier and. Um, and he's had a lot of success uh, against the teams that I were, that I, unfortunately, that I was a part of in the past that faced him. Are you guys catching a little bit of a break with Claiborne and Church being out? No, we're not catching a break at all. That's a good Dallas defense, and you know they have guys ready to play. What did you make there? I think they haven't let up many big plays at all this year, and I don't think they've given up a hundred-yard runner or receiver. Um, what makes them able to do that? I don't know. I think um, part of it is it, when you look at all three phases of their, of their team, you know, they're a good football team. They play complementary football. You know, they're, they're one of the better running teams, rushing teams in the National Football League. 
and uh, that always helps uh, the defense to stay fresh. And uh, and and I think Coach Marinelli's done a great job of uh, just you know making sure that those guys play hard with great intensity and get to the ball. Uh, they get to the ball as well as anybody that we've played. You know, they they swarm on on defense and. Um, and uh, they, they just they do all, overall a good job of playing complementary defense, and they play complementary football as a team.